Alan Herschel was a mathematician, chemist, astronomer, inventor, and photographer. Herschel was born in South Buckinghamshire in 1792 to William Herschel, the astronomer who discovered Uranus, and Mary Herschel. Herschel was born into an extremely musical family with both his father and his aunt using music to supplement their income. He was born in an observatory house and taught chem chemistry and physics experiments by his aunt Carolyn Herschel. Schooling was an issue for John because at each of the four primary schools he went to, he was bullied by the other boys. So he had to be tutored by a private tutor until he attended Cambridge in 1813. Although studying at Cambridge allowed him to delve into mathematics and other fields, critics say he never spent enough time in any one field to make the substantial impact that he had the potential for. Most of the areas he studied were in the natural sciences, and he believed that studying nature would give him a better understanding of God. In 1809, Herschel left home to study at St. John's College at Cambridge. There he teamed up with George Peacock, who wrote the Treatise of Algebra, and Charles Babbage, who originated the modern analytic computer. The three of them vowed to do their very best to leave the world wiser than they found it. Herschel and Peacock translated the treatise, uh, sorry, the treatise on differential calculus and integral calculus by Lacroix, which discussed the different approaches to calculus. Herschel, the Peacock, and Babbage founded the Analytical Society, whose purpose was to bring continental math to Europe, highlighting Leibniz's approach to calculus over Newton's. There was a great need for this movement because schools in Sweden were already using Leibniz's notation, and schools in England were behind. It's important to note that the Analytical Society did not last long, however, it is credited with the renewal of math at Cambridge when it actually predated that renewal. Herschel graduated from St. John's College in 1813 with first place marks in his exit examination. Peacock came in second, and Babbage, knowing that it would be an uneven competition, dropped out before he would inevitably come in third. After university, Herschel continued his studies in mathematics, probably motivated by his many accolades, such as becoming a member of the Royal Society of London and being accepted as a fellow at St. John's College. He continued to publish essays and books until 1820, when he left Cambridge to pursue other career options. His interest in math is evident in many of his later endeavors. Even in his astronomical work, he developed a graphical solution to a problem, the scatter plot. He described it so well as having a sheet of graph paper covered with two sets of lines, of equidistant lines crossing each other at right angles and having every tenth line darker than the rest. He said that such graphs were important for when your judgment alone and no calculation could help you achieve your answer. After being inspired by the works of William Wollstone and David Brewster, John Herschel eventually left Cambridge in 1816 to assist his father, Sir William Herschel, in his astronomical research. Through his works with his father, Herschel gained immense knowledge and experience with large telescopes. In 1820, Herschel was among one of the founders of the Royal Astronomical Society. Later in life, Herschel would go on to make important contributions to important contributions in chemistry, the physics of life, and in mathematics, which ultimately led to Herschel being awarded the Gold Medal of the Royal Society in 1821. After being inspired by the works of William Hyde, Walston, and David Brewston, John Herschel eventually left Cambridge again in 1816 to assist his father, Sir William Herschel, in, astron in his astronomical research. Through his works with his father, Herschel gained immense knowledge and experience with large telescopes. In 1820, Herschel was among one of the founders of the Royal Astronomical Society. Later in life, Herschel would go on to make important contributions in chemistry, the physics of life, and in mathematics, which ultimately led to Herschel being awarded the Corporal Medal of the Royal Society in 1821. John Herschel's first major task after returning from Cambridge was the reobservation of the double stars first cataloged by his father. The reobservation into this, these stars offered the best insight into the investigation of the gravitational forces operating in the universe. Herschel was fortunate enough to find a benefactor by the name of James South, who offered to cover the expenses of the instruments needed for Herschel's work. During 1821 and 1823, Herschel and South were able to catalog their compiled work and have it published in Philosophical Transactions in 1824. 
which in 1826 earned them the gold medal of the Royal Astronomical Society and the Landana Prize in 1825. In 1832, Herschel began planning his dream journey to South Africa where Herschel could observe and record, record stars only seen from the south, Southern Hemisphere. He did so with his wife, Margaret Bodie Stewart, and their 12 children so he could complete and extend upon his father's initial survey of the Northern Heavens. Herschel and his family arrived on January 15, 1834 in Cape Town, South Africa. They established a home in Fieldhausen, a Dutch farmhouse southeast of Cape Town. John would spend four years in South Africa before returning back to England. During that time, the clear skies of South Africa allowed him to make rapid progress in observing Halley's Comet, the satellites of Saturn. This progress led to, led to Herschel being able to catalog the nebula and the double stars. While in South Africa, he was able to record the locations of over 68,000 stars. After his return from South Africa, Herschel went on to processing and cataloging his data collected in South Africa. Although this took years to finalize, he eventually went on to publish his results in 1847. Herschel would go on to spend his remaining years of his life updating previous publications and corresponding with others in the scientific community. Thank you.